We'll go with uh, Shane in Bria, California. Evening, gentlemen. How you doing? Hey, Shane. Good. Um, I just had a sort of contradiction I wanted to pose. I'm sure it's been brought up to many atheists uh, arguing with Christians, and that is the uh, stance that God has a plan for everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that uh, there's free will. All right? Is there? Well, I mean, that's based on information. I mean, we're going to do what we we got to do based on the information provided with us. Oh, you're, you're, saying, is, you're saying that they simultaneously believe that God has a plan and that we have free will? Yes, correct. Yeah, okay. So in dealing with that in an argument, when you say, ultimately, I'm an atheist, and this God has a plan for everybody, and what you're saying is that if my plan is to be an atheist and I'm doomed to hell, and then they bring up, well, there's free will, how do you go about addressing that? And just debunking that. I, I'm, I'm not sure what you want to address and debunk. Well, I mean, it's a contradiction right there that they believe that God has a plan for everybody, but they're also saying I have, I have a free will at the same time, which is just absurd. Yes, there's, there, there is a conflict with God has a specific plan for everybody and everyone has free will, because that means that you could thwart God's plan. Yeah, so how would you go about addressing that? Just like that. Um, saying that, you know, innocent children are raped or all those bad things, but at the same time, everybody has a free will, which is just a complete contradiction to what they said a minute ago. I think, I think you did just address it. All right, so, 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 just, so just no, first of all, not all of them think that you have free will, and not all of them think that you have free will in the same way. Uh, there's a whole bunch of, you know, ideas about uh, limited free will or you had free will. God, because he exists outside of time, has seen the entirety. Um, so it's not so much that God has a plan, it's just that God knows everything that's going to happen, so his knowledge doesn't necessarily affect your choices. He just knows what you're going to do. Uh, none of it makes any sense. Um, exactly. That's where I wanted to get to. Yes. Okay. Well, um, yeah, that's that's just about it, and I just wanted to pose that to the people listening, that you could always bring that up when uh, any of them say something like that. Yeah. And, and you, okay. the, the big what? thing, though, is that you, you can just address the idea that God has a plan for everybody. As soon as they say God has a plan for everybody, you can say, oh, so it was God's plan for, you know, thousands of children to starve to death today before they're even able to communicate or think, you know, to, to evaluate the concepts. God, God, that was part of God's plan. And then exactly. they, they have to acknowledge that this is in fact the case, and that puts them in a position where now they need to come up with a defense for that. And so the potential defenses for that are um, God needed that to happen in order to accomplish something else in his plan, um, at which point you can point out that so basically God's okay with intentionally slaughtering people if it achieves his goals. And if anybody other than God did that, what would we call that person? You know, we certainly wouldn't call them a good, worthy of worship Lord. Uh, that's a monster. Uh, you know, that exactly. Is and the other one is, well, you know, well, this one just drives me crazy when they say, well, God just needed some more angels. Then make some damn angels. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that it was necessary for you to have a little baby born, suffer for the, however long it's going to last before it dies, so you can have another little angel. And by the way, there's nothing biblical about the idea that angels are spawned from the souls of dead babies. Um, if so, then, you know, the abortion rights activists could just claim that they're made sending God as many little angels as they can. I mean, it, 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 this idea that God has a plan for everybody is absurd. What it does is it means that we're puppets. We, um, and nothing we do matters because it's already been predicted Yep, exactly. They only want to look at the good, and they uh, turn their back to all the bad things. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, um, that was basically what I wanted to get to, and I'll let you get to other callers. But first, um, I would just like to say, no, 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 you're done, and I'm going to hang up. <laughs> did you hang up? Oh, he did. I wanted him to say no so I could say dumbass. <laughs> he got me. Yeah. Well played, Shane. <laughs> 